friends. We're best friends. I don't know. Not really. You decide. We're exponential friends. You decide. Cole whined a little. He didn't want to be the one to say something first. It's only fair. He gave a small sigh, eventually giving in. Okay, okay then. Um, we're friends? Something in your stom a stomach fluttered, and you bite down on your lip to hide your smile. Yeah, friends! He smiled at him, even though you weren't sure if you could see it. He breathed more easily after that. It made you feel nice to know that the two of you were officially friends. You, st uh, you stared when Cole sighed deeply. You turned your head to look in his direction. In, in the dark, you could only see a faint outline of a lump under the covers. Cove? Mm. What's wrong? What was that? Could you be less loud? Could you be quiet, please? Stop that! What's wrong? I can't sleep. Why not? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I am a credit putter. I am number zero. Duh! I just went from German to Russian. How did that happen? Mm. You shifted, or at least you thought he did. Um, he shifted, or at least you thought he did. You couldn't see anything since your eyes were still adjusting to the dark. But you heard his sleeping bag rustled. I want to be in my bed. Oh. Kosada. Your eyes had gotten used to the low light level, so you could see him better. He got out of the sleeping bag, wobbling towards your side table, and pulled open the top drawer. What is it? I'm getting my glasses. You sat up too, watching as he uh, reaches inside. He paused for a second, then pulled his hand out instead of his glasses, though he was holding a book. Cove turned it around in his hands, trying to figure out the proper orientation for it. You knew even without reading the title which one it was. That's uh, that was the one your moms would read to you. It was special. Be careful! That's mine. Thought you were, uh, I thought you were looking for your glasses. What are you doing with that? Cole shrugged, squinting at the new, uh, newly found cover in the dark. I just thought it looked cool. The compliment he uh, afforded your special book and you, uh, hand you grinning, and uh, had you grinning, your confession forgotten. Is it, it is really cool. Oh yeah? What is it about? It's a story about a, squ a squ squirrel who wants to become a knight and there's magic. Does it have mermaids? No. But... I love the main character because the squirrel is really brave and funny. It has cool pictures. Some of them even t uh, take up the whole page. Mommy reads it to me. She uses different voices for every character. There's a dragon and the crazy thing happens. I love the main character because the squirrel, uh, the squirrel, 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 really brave and funny. But they stuck, uh, but they, uh, but they're stuck working for this knight who's real to them. No, uh, nobody believes they can be knights, but that doesn't stop the squirrel, uh, squirrel so 
They go on an adventure to show the knight the worthy. You only realize after that you spoke more strongly than you have meant to. Your cheek burns. This must have been how Cove felt earlier. Thankfully, Cove didn't seem annoyed. In fact, you didn't know any better. It seems he liked the explanation. Cove looked ex excited by your words. He, flopped, uh, he flipped th uh, the book over and focused on the backside summary. He, uh, he's interested in it was only uh, spoiling your own. Reminded of the hours you spent hearing the tales, no matter how many times you read it or ha uh, had it read to you, you were still entertained by the story and pictures inside. You glanced out the window. The moon was high in the sky. It was definitely the time when you were supposed to be asleep. You couldn't keep staying up. You wanted to read the book with Cove. I wanted to read the book with Cove. You climbed out of bed and patted over your, uh, to your side table. You opened it, uh, you opened it and went uh, around, pushing it around stuffed, uh, stuffed toys and crayons. Cove called out to you in a confused whisper. What are you doing? Getting something we need. You let out a cr uh, quiet cry of victory when you found what you were looking for. You jumped back onto the bed before any, uh, any hidden boogeyman could catch you on the well. Cove continued to watch as you wriggle your way beneath the blanket you discarded earlier. You put it over, uh, you you put it up and over your head. What? You have to come in. You have to come here. Bring the book to you. After a mi uh, minute, the bed uh, dripped as Cove got in, uh, got on it, and uh, got on it. Then the blanket shifted. You fluttered with the flashlight in your grip, feeling for the switch. With a uh, click, uh, with a click that small space flooded with bright light, Cove sputtered, putting a hand up uh, up to shield himself from the beam. Move it somewhere else. Sorry. Your uh, 